Okay, let's start this model in the vision of my head. Um, hopefully it comes out looking like I have uh, the way it looks in my head, but let's start from the bottom up. And we're gonna start with the base. We got a round base and we're gonna hollow out the side. We're gonna feed in a uh, switch with the button batteries. Let me show you. <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna use. I like this because they're small. They're easy to use. They use two button batteries. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna drill a side, we're gonna hollow out, and then we're gonna put it in. But we're gonna make it um, accessible so we can pull it out when the batteries need to be changed. Now, we're gonna use wood. I'm gonna use a standard piece of, uh, this is actually scrap wood. And we're gonna trace out a circle, and we're gonna cut it out. Let me show you guys what it's going to turn into. Not exactly like this one, but along these lines. I had done the uh, AMT. This is the uh, USS Enterprise set. You can see we put the lights in. We got three because I wanted a light on each of the ships. Now what we're going to do with this model, we're going to have one. Let me show you why we're only going to put one bulb. Because we're going to do the maw of the planet killer. And as you can see, in the center of it, we have kind of like the fiery furnace. Um, and that's used to digest all the rubble that it takes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one bulb in the middle of the base. And we're going to make it look like the maw of the planet killer. So picture we've got the circle and we've got the planet killer coming towards you and on top we're going to put the distressed USS Constellation but this is actually one that I had done and I like the way it came out so we're actually going to do it like this you can see you put the lights on and this is removable to change the batteries and we have the lights because I, I'm not talented enough <laughs> to light the ships as small as they are and still make them look halfway decent. So I just wanted to show you the base that I have made in the past and we're going to use this as a guide. Let's put that to the side. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to trace out the circle. We're going to cut it. And we'll, this is further down the road. So I just wanted to show you guys what we're going to use to power it. Okay, again, <clears throat> you can see it's going to be a head-on view coming right at us. There's going to be one bulb, and we're going to drill a channel, insert the bulb, because it is solid wood. And we're also going to put the stand in for the USS Constellation. So, that being said, we're going to go ahead, we're going to make a circle in this, and then we're going to cut it out. are. I have a compass, but I can't find it. So the next best thing, we use something round and we're going to go ahead right now and we're going to do some cutting.
Okay, just to show you some progress, um, I did paint the whole thing. Um, it it's kind of looks like a hockey puck. I put two coats on the top um, to get it kind of smooth and like glossy so the paint would adhere to it um, better. What I'm going to do is we're going to paint the sides. We're going to do that later, but we're going to do the top and we're going to do the maw of the Planet Killer. And you can see the way that looks. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got the kind of fiery middle, the furnace. We have like an orange um, area, and then we have the outer part. And the outer part is white. It looks like blue, blue gray, and parts are black. So that's what we're gonna do for the outlying ring around here. We're gonna make the okay, outer the first part. thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the outline of the orange. That way they will have something to work off of. So let's start with the orange. First thing we do, we push down on it and that gets rid of all the air trapped inside. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna push down on it and what we're gonna do is actually get the paint to flow into the tip. Okay, so like I said, there's kind of like a, a line that's going straight across, as you can see right there. So let's do that right about here. something that's rough on the inside and again we got the where it is oh, it's right there so now we can start working on the outer edge Eventually, we're going to do the same thing on the sides and on the bottom. A 
might do, what we might end up doing is maybe we'll expand the, uh, the area. So let's try to make it a little bit bigger in the middle. We can do that by using the black. Here. <clears throat> like I said, we'll expand the uh, the orange area a bit, and we'll bring in the blue area. But we can't do that until it's dry. get the maw a little bit larger, or the opening a little bit larger. So maybe what I think we're going to do is we're going to make the, uh, the expansion of the fire a little bit more. Let's just touch up a little bit with the, uh, the orange. So we've got the maw, we've got the outline. And we've got the, the hot inside reflecting off the inner panels. And I'm wondering if I should make the black area just a little bit bigger. And I gotta keep track. This is where the switch is gonna go. So, we got the opening, and we're going to put in the yellow in the, in the bottom, and then the white over the yellow to kind of represent the, uh, the flame that's burning inside. But we're going to have to wait for it to dry. Okay, so it's had a little bit of time to dry. And what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to start doing the, uh, the fire inside. And it looks like it's got some orange, some yellow, and the white. So I think, I think we're going to do a layer of orange on the bottom. And then we're going to do some yellow. There, just like that. We'll leave that like that for now. All right. Along the edge. <clears throat>
All right, let me show you my idea. We got the LEDs that are gonna go on that, right in the center of the stand. But I wasn't sure of the yellow or the orange, but let me show you what I ended up doing. Let's take one out. All right, let's put some batteries in. Again, we're going to be using the uh, these kind of batteries. All right, so let me show you guys what I decided to go with. When we put it on, you can see the bulb. I thought it would be pretty cool to get one of those flickering bulbs, kind of like a candle. Let me put out the light. And it's gonna go right there. So I figured that would be pretty cool. And the bottom has the little spot. So let's see if you can see that. It'll be shining up on the bottom, menacing on the bottom of the constellation. I thought that was a good idea. I thought that was cool when I had, uh, I was looking through the, um, the yellow lights and the orange lights. And you guys know the Planet Killer has that kind of a flickering flame kind of inside it's bright hot white hot but when you're looking at this head on it's kind of white hot as well so i thought that was pretty cool so i ended up getting the uh the led flickering light so this is going to go in the middle of the base i just thought that was really cool so let's put that aside for now we don't need that yet And I'm going to do some, let's see if it's dry enough. We can put a little bit of the, uh, the yellow over the orange. We'll do a little spot. If not, we're going to have to wait till it uh, dries. All right. So while we're waiting for this side to dry, we can't really do the sides because we have to hang on to it like this. So I'm thinking I'll hang on to the sides and we'll do the blue on the bottom. So we'll do the yellow in the center, and while we do that, we'll put another coat of the white along the edge. When that's dry, then we'll be able to, to do the white in the middle, like that. And we'll do the white on the back. And once the sides are done, uh, the top and the bottom is finished, we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing for the sides, we'll do the blue. Okay, so I had some time to dry, and I think we're going to try doing the, uh, the yellow again. We'll put the yellow into the orange.
And what we'll do is we'll put the white over this when it's dry. In the meantime, we can do the white in the back to make it look like this. Let's see, I gotta make sure I know where that, here it is. So it's gonna go just like this. I think that looks pretty good for now. All right, let's try to find the flat side again. I think that's it. We can't really do anything else until this is dry. But when this is dry, we'll put the, uh, the white over here, and that'll be like the white hot part of the flame. And then the top part will be done um, the bottom part is done. We'll just be waiting for that to dry. And when the top and the bottom is dry, what we'll do is we'll do the sides. But I need to be able to hang on to it like that. So we've got to wait to do that. But once that's done, and we do, we'll do the blue, and we'll do the white. And we'll do that after we do the white on top. And then it's pretty much wait for it to dry. And then we'll do the wiring. And we got to put the, the pole in, too, for the ship to set to uh, set on. But, all right, let's wait for this to dry now. Okay, so it had some time to dry. You can see, looking more like the planet killer. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the white areas in the middle. And it'll kind of finish it off. And then we can do some of the white highlights on the side and it'll be all painted. All right. Let's use the white. we
How does that look? The planet killer coming at you. All right, this is where the switch is going to be. I think that looks pretty good. So why don't we put the white highlight on the side. All right, let's let that dry. And I think uh, we got the base painted. The planet killer coming at you. Let this dry and then we'll be able to look at it in the morning. Okay, so it's had overnight to dry. And you can see the base is all painted. Look at the back of the planet killer. The sides are looking pretty good. And let's see, where's the switch? Okay, so this is going to be the front. Did you just see it coming at you? Okay, we're done torturing Commodore Decker. So what we're going to do now is we got to figure out a way for the ship to stand on the base. And I like to use wire coat hangers. I think they're great for this. So what we're going to do... We're going to put it off center because the light is going to go in the center. So you figure right about there. That way there the light will be able to shine up on the ship. So let's mark a little bit. We'll be going to drill an inch. <laughs> about half an inch. Between quarter of an inch and half an inch. Um, the ship is 1 1,000 scale, and it's not going to weigh as much as like a 1 350 scale, but we still want it to be solid. All right. What I like to do now is we'll tap it into the base. And it's going to be secure. And then we're going to mount the constellation on top. We may end up cutting it <clears throat> if it's uh, too high up off the base, but we'll see when we get there. But anyway, we got the stand in, we got the base painted, and what we're going to do now is add the electronics. You can see this could be just about right put this in. So let's run about almost halfway. So we'll start right in the middle. There we go. That's just about right. But we'll put it in the other way. Just like that. You want to be able to still pull it out to change the battery. So I like that. Okay, so that's good. Let's clear Let's all this. Put the light. You can see it's going to be the bit is going to be a, about that size, and then we're going to hot glue the bulb into place, and we're going to run it through the channel. So let's take the power pack out. And I'm thinking we'll put the light right about in the center, right there.
Here we are. <clears throat> so the bulb, we're going to end up hot gluing it. We're not going to need a whole lot, just enough to anchor the light. We're going to put the glue right down in there. But let, let's wire the bulb first. I'm going to make sure it works. That's always a good thing to do. see a need to solder them so I put the uh, the electrical tape to hold them in place and I wanted to make sure the light worked so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue the bulb down into place just a bit to keep it permanently fixed Set a minute. It doesn't take long for the hot glue to set into place, and that looks pretty cool. All right, so let's tuck the wires in now. All right, so the best I can do is the wires are gonna show a little bit, but let's put the switch on. And you can see, the base is finished. Let me put the light out for you guys. guys can see that a little bit better. So that looks pretty cool. <clears throat> the only thing I think I'm going to do later on is drill out a channel when the model is done, pass the wires through and see if I can make a little channel where they can pass. Because right now it's all kind of, it's snug, but I don't want to overdo the opening. But you can see the flickering LED does a nice touch. And that's gonna be the base for the USS Constellation. So check it out in the light. Let me show you what I was going for. I was going for this. And <clears throat> the result was this. So it's not perfect, but I think it's, it's pretty cool. It'll do the job, and we've got the Planet Killer base for the USS Constellation. So my friends, I thank you for watching, and the next video is going to be the Constellation herself.